Hello everyone, what's up? Thank you for clicking on this video. Today, uh, this is number one on how to set up M Creator. Uh, basically, I'm gonna do a bunch of different videos and it's just gonna be stuff about M Creator and how to do different things. I'm also learning, so not everything I say is going to be perfect or accurate, but I'm trying to help you guys out because I have used this program for a few years now, so. All right, so first of all, uh, make sure you have it installed. Go to mcreator.net, go to download, and download the newest version. After you have it installed, it should pop up with this. You can click on new workspace. You can choose a name for your mod that will show up. You can use a mod ID, which I usually like to keep short and simple. And you can go ahead and press create new workspace. It will pop up with a link. You can keep this up if you want, um, but usually I just close out. It will set up the Gradle project files. So this might take a bit depending on how fast or slow your computer is. All right, that did take a pretty long time for me, uh, but it is done. So this is the console. This tells you what's happening when you start or stop your game. And also you can uh, build your game and stuff like that. But for now, we're just gonna go to workspace. Uh, let me full screen this. And so at the top left, this plus is where you add anything and all these uh, we will talk about a lot of them in future videos, but for now, I just want to show you around. The second one is renaming. The third one is duplicating or copying. The fourth one is, of course, deleting. And I'll get to the other ones on other videos. Uh, those ones you don't need for now. So, you're going to go to File. You're going to go to Preferences and you can change the color of buttons if you want for the accents stuff like that i usually like putting mine as blue because i like that color so i'm going to do that apply and next time you restart m creator it will look different um basically if you speak another language or read another language i should say uh you can change this also if you would like now go to backups and saving usually you should put this pretty high so uh, you don't lose anything if it ever crashes so I'm gonna put mine every three minutes instead of five and everything else is good for me uh, I usually don't change anything on this page or this page. All right, once you get to Gradle and run, this is how much memory you're giving the game when you start it up. Uh, just like how Minecraft uh, works regularly, except this is whenever you launch it in M Creator. So I'm gonna add a, a good amount of RAM. To check how much RAM you have, you can go to down here, right click on the Windows button, go to Task Manager, it should open a box up go to performance and then find the memory tab once you have that you'll know how much gigabytes of ram you have all right i'm gonna give mine some more uh, this is shown in megabytes though so this is what i'll set mine as 
bedrock settings. This is only for if you're doing bedrock. All the tutorials I'm doing are going to be for Java. So um, I'm going to skip that one. Notifications. If you want notifications about new stuff or releases or updates, stuff like that. Uh, plugins. We might get into that on other videos because those are very helpful. UI themes. You can change how you want it to look, um, but I'm probably going to uh, keep mine like this, but who knows? I have not really uh, used the other ones. I'll change mine to matrix, so next time I restart mine, it will look different. UI backgrounds. This is the background right here. If you want to change this to a picture, you can. Uh, I'll do that. I'll just go ahead and change it to the thumbnail of the video, so you guys can see. And press on it and it should be good procedures we don't need that textures that's if you're adding a bunch of textures at once if you're adding a bunch of armor at once but for now everything is pretty good so i'm going to restart m creator and you're going to see the changes all right it's loading up i'm on version 2021.3 right now can open it here you can have multiple mods at once as you can see the thumbnail of the video is now the background you can change this to any picture you want uh, it's pretty cool and everything else looks different because I changed the theme all right before we get to any modding for the next videos make sure that your game works press the play button up here and wait Also, in the console, you can see what's happening. It tells you what it's doing. And it should open up. And as long as it opens up, everything should be working fine. Uh, it will not keep your settings from normal Minecraft though, so you'll need to change these back to your settings, whatever settings you want. but I usually just open a single player world to make sure everything's working. Also, if your game is running very badly, you might want to increase the RAM in the preferences. As you can see, my game is open and it's running good. Uh, other than my settings, I need to change these. We will add mods, so just wait for my next video. I'll try to get it out soon. Uh, if this does get some good support on it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and like the video, of course. And see you.